Hi, and welcome to Time for You. I'm Lea Wernli, and I'm with my friend and colleagues, Shelia Stevens. Hi, hi. We're um, back on air. Ah, I always wanted to have a radio show, actually. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah, now you have a radio show, sort yeah, of. Yeah, I have yeah. a radio show, kind of. So what's the topic today? I'm going to be really honest. I love games and experiments and I love magic as well and learning. Um, I'm, I, I, I love challenges in a way and but I'm also good at failing. So I'm really into the game and <laughs> sometimes I'm really bad at it and it doesn't matter. It's for the play, for the game. So I, I play a game at the moment and it's called a million in a year game. And I can't even remember how the teacher is called. It doesn't matter. I can't remember it's how just... she's called either. <laughs> I just know <laughs> my, my million dollar year. That's all I could remember. Yes. <laughs> that's good enough. And what's really interesting is she, she has this plan that 20 steps like if you would sell I've got a dollar a franc uh, one Swiss franc here and if you would buy something with this one Swiss franc and then sell it for two and do that like 20 times that would be a million mm. I mean that's not a lot to do I mean it is of course but <laughs> somehow that's very interesting, just as an idea, as a concept. Totally. And what she, it was, I don't know, she has prompts and journaling, and I'm just in for that. And one thing, it's all about uh, being the Lulu, she calls it, I think, delusional or or crazy, or having these crazy ideas and not going for it, or are you really willing to put yourself out there and having people thinking, what the F, this woman is crazy. And it was so interesting because the three principles, we are talking about them like consciousness, mind, and thought by Sydney Banks, really did wake us up in a profound way and changed our life. And so I couldn't help but go out and share them. And they're kind of different to what is mainstream at the moment. So it's really all about, hey, um, we feel our thinking and not like the teacher or boss or your kids never not sometimes but never ever so mm -hmm. that's kind of a completely different paradigm and i'm kind of no i, I nowadays i am very comfortable like sharing the understanding um coaching based on this understanding and being out, being seen, being known for that. But there are other things in my life I do as a private person. I didn't share or I do not share. <clears throat> and the question of this lady, I want to, to say who it is. It's a spiritual teacher, uh, an English woman, and she is called, just a moment, here we go. Where is that book of hers? <laughs> I, I thought that was quick, but I'm not. I will share it after that. You can give it, put it in the show notes, Leah, if you want yes, to. Yes, we will. Um, mm -mm, where was I? The question that, that she, um, she did ask and I answered, did make me think about that and I realized um, I changed a lot around money and I looked into 
um, different things around money. I had insights as well, and I had a, I have a goal because I I took out my pension, like the money for retirement for all the coachings and the trainings and the schools I wanted to do, and for becoming self-employed and. My goal is to put that money back into the account. And I really felt a few years ago um, in cryptocurrency, there is something to see for me. And I've learned it properly. I had really beautiful coaches there um, from Glitzerfabrik and they've got mm-hmm. a- podcast uh, I think crypto ladies and they're really cool and I learned it and I mean I'm not a tech person or I am if I really want to but it was quite the huge um, entrance point for me it was mm-hmm. not like easy and it was I'm a big learning into, curve it was, yeah. it was a big learning curve mm-hmm. and and I just see there is a, a, a possibility, an alternative way um, in this whole money game. And one path, one possibility is um, in in the Bitcoin and in the cryptocurrency. But I didn't talk about it. I didn't share. There are very few people who know about that. And um, just... With being in this game of a million dollar a year, is that possible? How? Experiment? I thought, hmm, I'm going to share that with my with my clients, with my email list. And not like as a coach and I recommend this, but like, hey guys, something big is going on. And what I mean is the whole financial elite is joining behind mm-hmm. the scene for real it's going to change it's meant to stay and people like me like you like us it's going to be harder to participate if they are in the game mm. and now is still a way in it's still a, a moment of possibilities if you want to if you feel it and and what i've seen in this journey is my head wanted to go in all the, I'm going to say, butts. Um, uh, <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> Leah like, like to say butthead, but she doesn't mean butthead. <laughs> she means when your head is giving you a lot of butts. <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> oh, God, that's a... Oh, it already sounds crazy and and I just stayed there and I learned and I evolved and I I did a lot of things and what happened with a, a little money I don't have a lot of money to put there I only invest the game gambling money the money I don't need for my everyday life I could double it like over the last three years so that's incredible Mm-hmm. I I didn't know that for someone like me that this is possible and it is and it was my way in and it doesn't have to be yours doesn't yeah. matter but just I realized yeah I want to share that and maybe there are people on my email list that think I'm crazy or yeah. um, what's that and that's strange and oh no and I just don't want to be the one who didn't say anything Mm. (laughs) to the people. I care. And not that you have to, but that I did put it out. And being okay with not being understood or maybe seen crazier than as crazier than before. Crazier than you already were seen as? (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. And to just even... There is always more to see and there is always the possibility to even be freer. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Is I, that, does that make sense? 
it, well, it makes a lot of sense to me, Leanna, and I'm so I'm so glad you brought that topic. And I don't think crypto is that crazy, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, but I what I hear in that is uh, how much we limit ourselves mm -hmm. to what we actually see in life, what we actually get given by mind mm -hmm. um, and what we share with others or not mm -hmm. for the fear of being judged, mm -hmm. being put in a, a certain box of um, whatever, whatever the thing. And, you know, I, I I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because you and I, when we started this English podcast, we kind of had the conversation a little bit like, does this, is this just 3P? Is this like other stuff too? Because you, you and I both know, and I, when we're not in the public eye, when we're talking behind the camera, we're talking about other stuff too, that, you know, is kind of crazy and woo woo and, um, like how much of that do we want to show? And I think it's, um, I think it's encouraging to really say how much of myself can I actually be? Mm. And I had a, I had a conversation with, um, with Grace recently about it. Grace Kelly, if she's listening anytime. Hi, Grace. I've been uh, doing some coaching with her and also with Dominic Scafidi and Grace is all about miracles, right? Um, and they have this program called Living Miraculous. We may have Living Miraculously. We may have talked about it before, maybe on the other podcast. But Grace lost her partner, Francesco, mm -hmm. and that was in now three years ago. He died of a sudden heart attack. He was just forty five years old, and it, they were they were um, liet. What is a uh, the word, oh gosh, I can't think of. They were engaged no. to be married. Yeah. They had been together for like 15 years already. Um, so it was kind of like a marriage-like relationship. They certainly thought it was going to be forever. And then all of a sudden he was gone. And I remember, Leah, you and I interviewed um, mm -hmm. Grace when that happened. And she was talking about, you know, how she was dealing with the grief and what her grief journey looked like mm. and how much love she experienced in that time and all these kind of things. And at the time we were really deeply in the three principles and spreading the understanding in the German space with the My Secret Life Summit. And I remember Grace talking about really woo-woo things in my mind at the time. Mm. Like she was always talking about seeing uh, signs from Francesco mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. She would ask him specifically to play a song on the radio to show he was mm. there or give her a sign in the ocean mm -hmm. when she was walking by. And she would talk about all the signs that she was seeing. And I remember being on the one hand fascinated by that, mm. that, that, that magical seeing in a way, because that just isn't the way that I was used to being in the world like very just me I'm very practical and it's just been the last couple of years that I've been opening up to that more magical type of way of seeing mm -hmm. life or sp all the ways that the spiritual nature um just shows itself in mm -hmm. the physical world mm -hmm. you know so it was fascinating and on the other hand I was a little embarrassed for Grace I was like oh, she's like in this grief stage and she's going out saying all these crazy things and that has nothing to do with the three prints like I was just mm -hmm. I was sort of worried about her right mm -hmm. and it turns out like since then I myself have started to see so much about that mm -hmm. and it has opened up a whole new facet of who I am as a human being, how I see my spiritual nature, crazy shit. Sorry, I'm not, I'm trying not to do the cursing on the podcast in case children are listening. Because in the US, uh, we are not allowed to curse. In Switzerland, you can curse on the podcast. Yeah. And, you know, I had this conversation with Grace and I was sharing some things with her, like really, Leah, I haven't mm. even shared this with you, like wacko stuff that happened to me where for me, it was only a spiritual experience mm -hmm. manifesting in the physical mm -hmm. and grace was like you've got to share that with your people you've got to talk about this and i was just like 
nope, definitely not. I don't want anybody mm. else knowing about that. This is mm. just for me. And then I realized, you know, how much I am in the closet mm. about some stuff in, that I'm having my life that I share with mm. the people closest to me, but I would be terrified of going out with that and talking about it in a larger mm. framework. And that's just one area that I'm mm. talking about. So when you, when you said that about crypto, and I know you have some other areas that you don't talk about as well, I thought how interesting, um, we, we talk about in this understanding of the most pure thing to do is just be yourself fully mm. um, minus all the thinking you have about what that should be and look like and mm -hmm. how that could separate you from belonging. And yet mm. here and here and here and here, I've got it going on all over the place. So I, I really resonated with the topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, what comes to mind is really this, it is a journey of discovering, self-discovery at the end. And the deeper we know that, that underneath we are the same light and essence and love, the easier it gets to be blue and not red like the one beside me and to fully step into your own color because it needs all of us to shine our color to make mm. this incredible nice picture perfect somehow and it's not easy because that's like a very old part of our brain who is really judgy of new things and things that are not mainstream because then you get kicked out of the group. And I mean, cave people died when they were kicked out of their group. So mm -hmm. this part is really forceful and really doesn't want us to be seen as crazy or different or woo -woo. special or woo-woo or whatever. So it's probably as well as we often talk about it around the principles. Yeah, we don't say it's exercising, but I think it is. It's also just, I say crypto, <gasps> I didn't die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay I say mm, I did actually it's so funny how do you call the pendulum yeah the, the pendulum the it's pendulum pen it's the same I think it's yeah. the pendulum mm. I did that with my my granny when I was a little kid so I was already really witchy and and spiritual and I I really didn't want to be seen as that and that this part of my story or myself is known mm -hmm. and I was afraid and and that dissolves more and more and more and more the only thing that that kind of remains till now is the part where other people are involved so yeah um, there is kind of uh, towards the kids or my husband or close friends that it's not just my story or my experience, it's theirs as well. Yeah, of so course. So that's kind of the sacred part because it's a shared thing. And for myself, it 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 still it is, and there are parts, but it's less and less and less. Yeah. And as I told you, I had a friend who said me to me, "Oh, I was talking about ADHD 
and and how to navigate that in school in in the school to the teachers and I said to him yeah and I'm gonna tell them how I did it and he was like what are you talking about your diagnosis as well today we haven't seen each other for quite a while and I was like whoa didn't I talk about it and I didn't mm -hmm. before and I didn't even realize how how it changed. Mm -hmm. That's interesting too. And on the other hand, I become as well more private again. I was a very private person in a way. I la love my peace of mind and and being really intimate and very close to a few people. And this really spreading and going out and being seen and not for me but for the the thing for for example the principles that is not on the top priority at the moment yeah. anymore and that's interesting too it was yeah. for six years yeah and now it's very transformative intimate work one-to-one -one or in very small groups and and that's where I'm pulled and yeah. to be okay and that's a personality change as well again so it's always letting go again and and changing and and discovering and seeing different and being okay with changing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah totally yeah. And yeah, there's no, there's no right or wrong in keeping things to yourself or going out mm -hmm. with it. It's not, it's not about that. I think, um, yeah, it's just what I, what I like in our conversations, Leah, is just like the noticing things mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. huh, huh. I'm hiding this, <laughs> mm -hmm. not, you know, it doesn't have to be more than that. And, mm -hmm. um, and then the curiosity, you know, mm -hmm. to me, I just was thinking while you were talking, I wonder, you know, um, in our chronicles, like I was telling Leah today, <laughs> when we're 80, we're going to look back and listen to these podcasts, Lord's willing, we're still alive, like my grandma would say. And, you know, just curious how that will change and unfold. And yeah, it's just, it's just an interesting part of the human life without without mm -hmm. taking it any of it all too seriously you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah do mm -hmm. so thank you for listening <laughs> and Shelia will wrap us up because she remembers to tell you to um spread it with your friends <laughs> <laughs> Leah, Leah's job when she has to wrap it up is just I say just say subscribe and have them share it with their friends and she's like oh I forgot this time oh I forgot that but last time you yeah. remembered Leah so yeah yeah. yeah yeah there you go if you think yeah if you think this conversation could be of value to anyone else share the podcast with them subscribe for yourself so you be sure to get updates on right now our weekly podcast we have no idea nope. in the future how it's going to be but right now it comes out every friday and um yeah thanks for the conversation leah it's always just so fun uh to chat with you mm. and um that we get to have our friendship also in this way yes um, We'll see you next time. And time we have you. an open mic friendship. <laughs> yeah, an open mic friendship. That sounds cool. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.